Hello everyone and welcome once again to MJ's Maths and Stats. That's MJ Magic Studio to you. I'm your host, your host, and as usual in the ghost mode, Mohit Jain. Today we would be discussing few uh, sample questions which you might uh, get if you are writing DXC Technology Online Assessment, and uh, this is scheduled on campus. DXC Technology is coming in Southern States of India on twenty uh, fourth. July that is this coming Sunday and so I decided to showcase few question which might be of help to you and as far as the platform is concerned initially they used to use MCAT SHL platform but uh, of lately they have also started using Hire Pro so we would be discussing both the platforms uh, exam pattern first and then we will see few we will take up few questions and we will solve you know the drill. Pause the session. Try to solve it yourself, and then look out for the solutions. Okay, this is what uh, is the MCAT's platform pattern was. They used to divide their full uh, assessment in six section: English, logical ability, quantitative ability. There was an essay writing also. A topic was given where twenty minutes were allowed. Computer programming on technical MCQs and automata fixes a coding pseudo code type pattern. But of lately, they have started to use Hire Pro, and the Hire Pro examination pattern is pretty much simple. From aptitude, it is twenty questions. Here, aptitude really actually means only logical reasoning, visual reasoning, uh, detail, eye for detail. Uh, basically, no maths aptitude question. And next sixteen questions from question number twenty-one to thirty-six are verbal. Ability for which sixty minutes is given. So I have taken a few questions, basically from the Higher Pro platform. On this, uh, hope that they would be continuing with the Higher Pro platform, and you would be getting the same online assessment test. So on this note, let's start now. Okay, so the first one on the screen is from blood relation. P is son-in-law of S. S son-in-law is P. T and Q are the children of P. M is mother of T. M is mother of T. How is M related to S? Obviously, if P is son-in-law of S, M, who is the wife of P, should be daughter of S. M is daughter of S. Option A should be the pick. Okay, so next one is uh, from uh, coding decoding analogies. These kind of questions are quite regular, and and any any online assessment exam you will find these kind of questions. The very easiest uh, way is to just identify the pattern and then put it. S F Y N. So it is like. Uh, P Q R D E F and then X Y M N. So U I O Z. After U we have V W I J K. After O is P and after Z in a circular uh, alphabetic letter order will be A. So it should be V K. Sorry W K P A and that we have in option D. Okay, one more from. Uh, okay, this is the first one actually from direction, distance, and direction. We know we have uh, four basic direction: north, south, and uh, west, east, and four subsidiary directions also. So, Amit have steered from his path while on his way to his hotel. Where from wherever Amit starts, it should be the origin. He moves twenty-eight kilometer towards south. Then moves twenty kilometer towards west. We are just following the map compass. Twenty. Then four kilometer towards north. And then two kilometer towards east. To reach his hostel, this is A, and this point is H. 
what is the distance of the shortest possible route shortest possible route is the diagonal distance the straight line distance between a and h so let it be b we have constructed a right angle triangle a b h and we need the lens so this uh, h b is 20 minus 2 that is 18 and a b is 28 minus 4 that is 24 so a h is root over 24 is square plus 18 is square So 24 is square is 576. Please uh, remember this. Uh, there is no calculator allowed in DCS technology examination. So please learn the squares also at least till 30. And 18 is square is 324. 576 plus 324 is 900. So root over 900 is 30. So the shortest possible route from the point where Amit is to his hotel is 30 km, that is in option D. And yes, no calculator is allowed. So next one is uh, like missing the, finding the missing number in the number series, which is quite uh, popular and you might find one or two questions based on this and DXC examination. So let's see, it is 2, 3, 6, 18, okay. As we are writing, we can observe what is happening. 2 into 3 is 6. 3 into 6 is 18. 6 into 18 is 108. So next one should be 18 into 108. 108 into 18, 114. So 0, 4, 1, 18 and 19. 1, 4, 4 should be the next term of this series, which is 108 into 18. Product of the two previous term is the next term option d is the pick i hope you are uh, like pausing the session and trying to solve by yourself please do that okay the next one is from classification classification is like four options or some options are given and some terms are given some numbers are given from where we need to find the odd one out so here the letter cluster we have which of the following is not following the pattern which is followed by others that is what we need to find out a b then it is c d here we can see it is p q r s s t u v but this is not m n it should be o p but it is given m n p q that means m n p q is the odd one one more number three is on your screen and hope you are following the drill. So 10, 14, 23, I can see that it's not getting multiplied, but it's increasing. Let's find the difference. 4, 23 minus 14 is 9, this is 16, bingo. Difference is a square of the natural number series. 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square, next would be 6 square, that is 36. So the next number should be 64 plus 36 that is 100 and that we have in option A. There are many ways to tackle these kind of question. Keep practicing to get the instant hit that what uh, can be applied. As we know coding decoding usually they always ask and there can be any way they can set up the codes. You can see the normal is written as Lambron. Okay, if I read it is nothing but it is from the bag. N O R M A L. So system should be S Y S T E M. That is Metsys. M E T S Y S is an option B. The next one on your screen is a deductive. Data sufficiency, sorry it is not deductive logic, it is data sufficiency. A question would be given and two statements are there. We need to identify that whether we can answer the given question or not with the given statements. So give it a try. So our question is how many people cast their vote in MCD election in a metropolitan city, Delhi? How many people? We need the number. Statement one says, the population of India is 2 billion and population of each metropolitan city is 15% of the total. 
that means with this information we can find that what is the total population of delhi but we cannot find uh, how many people have voted during the elections so a statement one alone is not sufficient if we read a statement two alone it says 33 percent of the total population of delhi cast their votes in the election now that is fine but with this we can only find the percentage of people who have cast their vote but not the actual number so statement 2 alone is also not sufficient but if i combine both statement 1 and 2 from 1 i can find the population of delhi and then 33 percent of that number will give me the number of people who have cast their vote in mcd election so i'll mark on both 1 and 2 together are sufficient to find the answer option d One more from data sufficiency, give it a try. One of the trickiest uh, data sufficiency question. They are asking us to find the value of P plus 2Q. That means we need the value of P, we need the value of Q. Statement 1 says P plus Q is 10. But with this we cannot find the individual value of P and Q. Certain value of P and Q. We can assume anything and then we can have many sets of P plus 2Q. That is not the answer. From a statement 2, it says 2P plus 4Q is 20. And if we look carefully, if I divide this equation by 2, I'll get P plus 2Q is equals to 10. And that is the value we are looking out for. We are looking out for the value of P plus 2Q, which is straight away given in statement 2, that is P plus 2Q is equals to 10. That means statement 2 alone is sufficient to give us the answer. It should be option B. Okay, one more from classification. We need to find the odd one out. K, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. P O P it is not setting up in KML. Let's see this one. P Q R T U V. Fine. These three are following the same pattern, but uh, not this. If it starts with N, it should be N P Q to be there in the same classification. So the letter cluster N P Q is the odd one out. Option C. One more from pointing up to the picture, pointing to the person in blood relation. Pointing to a woman, a man said, her father, okay, women's father, is the only son of my mother, man's mother, is the man himself. That means women's father is nothing but this man. How is the man related to the women? This man is nothing but father of that woman. Option A. Do practice these kind of questions. They always ask one of this kind. Pointing to the picture or a person. And a dialogue is given. Based on that, we need to find some relationship. Okay, one more question from completing the number series. 9, 54, 135. 252 the best method to find a missing number trick is use difference table concept if you can't identify a pattern 54 minus 9 is 45 135 minus 54 will give me 81 252 minus 135 will give me 117 okay So next, we don't know. So here, let us find more difference of this difference. 81 minus 45, 36. 117 minus 81 is 36. Bingo. These difference are coming constant. So we can use this 36 here. 117 plus 36 is 153. And if we add 153 to 252, we will get 405. And yes, that we have in option B. Difference table helps when you can't identify a pattern with multiplication or something else. Go in for the difference table. 
Okay, a small puzzle. Let's solve it. Seven student R S T U V W X are made to stand in a line in order of increasing height. Sort a student first. Okay. S is the tallest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So S position is fixed as right hand side because right hand is the tallest and left hand side is the shortest. W is exactly between R and U. It can be R W U or U W R. There are exactly three student between U and X. U and X or X and U can be this pattern. T comes right after S in height. That means T place is also fixed here. Now the question is how many arrangement of students are possible according to the given information. Okay, you and this uh, are making like five. We can have you here, X here, and three people are there in between. And then uh, between you and R, we have a W. So we can have R here and W here, and then S R S T U V. So this can be the pattern. First pattern, T and S are fixed. Uh, if I keep it like X, U and three people in between and then uh, R and U, W and here we will have V. Okay, so we can see that we can have only two patterns possible. Either it will be U, W, R, V, X, T, S. S is the tallest. T comes right after S. That is fine. Done. W is exactly between R and U, done, R and U, W. There are exactly three students between U and X, three and U and X, three. So we are getting two possible arrangements and that is not there. Mark on none of the other because the answer should be two. I for detail type of questions, visual reasoning, fish net is written as this. Okay. And another word interval is written as this. Then what is the expression for the word internet? Let's see for I we have got hash here also I we have got hash. Our answer should start with an hashtag. Last may we have got net. Net. Can I take the last three this? Question mark equals to end. Question mark equals to end. That means these two options are out. Second position will help us in finding the answer. N, 1, 2, 3. N is question mark actually. And that is in option A. We'll mark on option A. Option A is the expression which we need to write for internet. It's the I for detail type of question. Be very specific by detailing and just mark the correct option okay one more based on set theory and this is again data sufficiency in a class of 125 student they are supposed to opt for various subjects like computers drawing and music find the total number of students who opt for only one subject so we have got three and this total is uh, 125 60 students opt for commerce, 72 for drawing and 58 for music. They are asking about total number of students who opt for only one subject. That is this three value ABC we are supposed to find. But with this information uh, and the basic information that uh, all uh, section is equals to 125, we cannot answer the question. Let's move on to statement number two. It said 25 student offered for computer and drawing but not music. So it was computer, drawing but not music. That means this portion is 25. 20 offered for drawing music but not computer, drawing music but not computer. So this is 20 and 10 opted for computer music and not drawing. So this one is 10. So with this value also we cannot find what is the value of ABC because we need the value of this missing one also. But if we combine all the three, if we combine all three and if we take this as E, we can very easily find 
uh, with the help of equation a plus e and then b plus e then c plus e value we can get and we can also get a b c plus e plus all these is equals to 125 so by solving those equation we can find the value of a plus b plus c both statement together are sufficient let's see how so the first equation what we have is a plus b plus c plus e plus 25 10 35 55 is 125 similarly we will have a plus e equals 60 minus 35 b plus e equals 72 minus 45 and c plus e equals to 58 minus 30 that is 28 so now if i add these three we'll get a plus b plus c plus 3 equals to something and this will give us a plus b plus c plus e equals to something after solving these two equations we can find the value of e once we have this value we can very easily find the value of a plus b plus c so if we combine both the statement we can get the answer both statement together are sufficient we'll mark on option c okay one more from i for detail just read and see the number pattern and try to answer the question which of the following number will be the eighth to the left of the sixth to the right of fourth to the left of 10th from the right end of the series these kind of questions should be answers from the end let's see what is there the last command 10th from the right end of the series 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we are at 6 then we need to go 4th to the left of 6 1 2 3 4 we are at 9 then we need to go to 6th to the right of 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We are at 8. And then 8th to the left of 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We reach at 7. So out of 9, 7, 5, 8, 7 is the number we are looking out for. Option B is the pick. Okay, one of my favorite input output type uh, questions where, uh, let's see, a word and a number arrangement machine is there. And uh, if you give an input line of words and number, it rearranges them following a particular rule in each step which is given. It is an illustration. We need to read the illustration and try to identify what is happening in each step. Same flower 18 open 96 29 call 43. This is given. In step 1, if we can see that they bring a call and out of the four words, it start with S, start with F, start with O, start with C. C is the alphabet which comes first. That means step 1, they are first writing in the dictionary format related to words. And once call is taken up from here, other words and numbers are written in the same order as they are in the previous line. In step 2, after call, we can see that 96 is what they have pulled up. 96 is the biggest or the largest or the highest value out of the four numbers given. And again, they have pick up F after C is F in the dictionary format. So, we can see that the arrangement finally comes down to words are in odd places and then the numbers are in even places in descending order and words are in odd places in the dictionary format so that is the input uh, process machine process which we have identified now based on this if the input is uh, let me write this as y 54 h a 32 83 q 46 this is the input then how many steps will be required to complete the rearrangement so first uh, will be a first a y 54 h 32 83 q 46 and then the number the highest number will be pulled up 
After A, we will have 83 and the remaining will be written in the same order. Then after A is B, C, D, H. So A, 83, H will come. Y, 54, 32, Q, 46. Then 54 will come. A, 83, H. 54, Y, 32, Q, 46. And then after H, among Y and Q, Q should come first. So A, 83, H, 54, Q, Y, 32, 46. In the next, 46 will come first. A, 83, H, 54, Q, 46 will come. And Y, 32 is automatically arranged. Now, no more step need to be worked on because we can see that A, H, Q, Y in odd position arranged in alphabetical order. 83, 54, 46, 32 at even position arranged in descending order. So, how many steps we have run? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we need 6 steps to arrange, complete the rearrangement of the input given to us. 6, option A is the pick. One more typical type of uh, fill in the blanks with missing letters. Let's see. M, then B, dash, F, M, dash, E, 2, dash, B, E, F, M, B. Wherever you find the cluster, try to first identify the pattern uh, which letter is coming before a given one and after a given one. Here we can see FM, here FM is defined, after FN is B, we can write B here. It is again B, E, F, M, B, B, E, we can write F, M, B. So, his pattern is like B, after B is E, we can write E here, before M is F and after B is E. Let's identify the pattern if it is fitting in FMBE, 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 bingo. It's again visual treat. Identify the cluster uh, letter before and after that and try filling the blanks. So our answer should be F, E, B, F, M, E, F, E, B, F, M, E is an option C. Lot of I for detail type of question I have uh, like taken up so that you can practice there. If it is on higher pro, higher pro platform, they would be asking these kind of questions. In the following number series, how many even numbers? First, we can mark the even numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 even numbers we have are there that are immediately preceded. Preceded means the previous one is a small letter. Previous one is a small letter. No small letter. A small letter. But this is capital letter. This is capital letter. This is not a letter. This is small letter. Uh, before 6 is K which is capital. Before 8 is a dollar sign. Before 4 is R which is small. And before 2 is 4 which is not a letter. So we have marked out how many? 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are 4 of such uh, even numbers which are preceded by small letter. We will mark on C. I for detailed type of question. Be perfect with your eyes. More you practice about uh, data sufficiency, more accuracy will come here. I haven't given up the option. But we know the drill for data sufficiency that a question is there and we need to identify that which statement is sufficient enough to answer. Among six people, A, B, C, D, E, F, who is sitting exactly, who is sitting exactly opposite to D? Okay, this is the question. Who is sitting exactly opposite to D? If all are sitting around a circular table as their backs towards the center of the table, that means each one of them is looking out of the table. Uh, so we have six people who are looking uh, away from the center and 
let's see what is there in first statement. One, two, three, four, five, six. First statement. F is second to the left of A. As everyone are looking out of the circle, uh, their left means our right. So F is second to the left of A. Let us add A. Left means right of A. One, two. F should be here. F is second to the left of A. Who is third to the left of B? A is third to the left of B. Left is going right. B, one, one, two, three. B, one, two, three, left. B is, who is not an immediate neighbor of D? Then means D can be at this position also, this position also. D is sitting at the second to the right of C. C, one, two, C, one, two. C, 1, 2, C, here has to be C and then 1, 2, second right, it should be D. Now B and D are not neighbor, we can see that. Now we have got 6 people, A, B, C, D, E is obviously at this point. That means statement 1 is giving us the entire arrangement which is possible. Uh, who is sitting exactly opposite to D? F is sitting exactly opposite to D. We can answer this question with help of statement 1 alone. Let's see what is there in statement 2. Because there is one more option like each uh, statement alone are sufficient. Again, since they are looking away from the center of the table, their left is our right. This need to be kept in mind and accordingly we can arrange it. E is sitting opposite to C. Here also we can see. So let me put it this way only. E is sitting opposite to C. Who? C is second to the right of B. B will go right like this. B is at this position. Who? That means B is sitting at third to the left of A. Left. Left of A is looking outside. 1, 2, 3. Very fine. A should be at this position. It's matching. Who is not an immediate neighbor of F? A is not an immediate neighbor of F. F should be at this position. This vacant position, we should have T. Now we can see that entirely we are getting the match with the statement 1 and statement 2 alone. So we would be marking on uh, either of the statement alone is sufficient enough to answer the question. Okay, let us read this now. Number clusters question. Following question is based on the six three digit number. We have got six numbers. Two, five, one, four, four, three, one, four, nine, five, five, eight, five, nine, three, and eight, three, nine. If 50 is added to each of the above numbers after interchanging the second digit with the third digit, it will become 215 plus 50. 265. It will be 434 plus 54, 84. 194 plus 50 would be 244. 585, this is what we are interchanging. Uh, second digit is interchanged with the third digit within the number. Then 585 plus 50 will give 635. 5 19 539 plus 50 is 589 and 893 plus 50 is 943 then sum of digits of how many of them is odd this is 13 uh, 4 8 8 16 4 4 10 and 8 6 14 thir 13 and 9 is odd this one was odd 9 and 7 will give us odd. So we have got 3 of such number where sum of digits will be odd. Option D is the pick. Find the missing letter. You can see it is D, F, something, J and here is 25, 73, 121. Uh, can we identify something D E F G H I J and whether there is some relationship with these three numbers 
25 plus my 73 minus 25 48 and then 8 3 11 1 21 okay here the gap is also 48 that means in place of question mark we should have h simply uh, alphabets moving up with plus 1 d e f g h i j we'll mark on h okay towards the end again one more letter cluster series we need to identify which one is the missing one p b h s then n b f s next j b b s h b z s while our writing i can observe that all these cluster are ending with s this should also end with s then uh, b second one is also common b then uh, g h i j k l m n o p good h i j plus one k l m n o p and now you should go like z a b c d then e f g h bingo it should be l b d s and that's in option c just try to identify the pattern and keep on moving with the alphabets okay before moving into visual reasoning the last sample question is from clocks you please practice more questions from clocks because uh, they might ask you at least one question from this and this is a unique question let's see how to do this and uh, uh, very quickly i would be recording one master class on clocks so wait for it you will get it on the master class session find at what time between 8 and 9 o'clock will the hands of a clock being in the same straight line but not together and being in the same straight line means that means angle between them should be 180 degree whenever these kind of questions are asked we simply use formula 2 by 11 into a plus minus b now what is a and b a is a small time into 30 and b is asked angle between the two hands so in our case the small time is 8 o'clock so 8 into 30 is 240 you just need to remember this formula that's it and b is 180 now as we look at the options also all options are saying it is past 8 past 8 past 8 no one is saying before 9 before 9 before 9 so i will be using plus sign 2 by 11 into a is 240 uh, plus sign it will go beyond 9 but it is past 8 so let's use minus sign because the axed angle is 180 degree minus 180 that would be 60 120 by 11 that is 10 110 10 10 by 11 minutes past the small time 8 so 10 10 by 11 minute past 8 should be the answer in these kind of question where two times are given and they have asked that at what time the angle between the hands of the clock will be this that whatever theta use the formula 2 by 11 into a plus minus b if a is greater than b and you want the time after 8 use minus sign clear use plus sign if it is after or again you will come back with the plus sign because 240 plus 180 again you need to come back to 60 only because then the angle will be more than 360 degree you need to deduct 360 degree to get a smaller angle between them a smaller difference between them uh, please wait for the master class on clocks and calendar we will come up with more formulas and shortcuts regarding how to solve questions on these Now in the last section of this session, we have got a few visual reasoning sample questions. 
which are like mirror image water image or classification based or complete the uh, series type of question this one is from classification spot the figure which is different from the rest here we can see that between uh, three colored petals the difference is of the pattern 1 2 2 here the difference is of pattern 1 3 1 here is 1 2 2 and here also we can see the pattern is 1 2 2 so we can see that in a c d the pattern more or less are more or less not it is same the difference between the color pattern is 1 2 2 number of petals but in b it is 1 3 1 so b should be the odd one out which comes in the place of question mark we can see that one then two then three obviously we should have four one after another one two three four that is an option c option c is the pick these kind of question need to be solved in maximum five ten seconds so that we can save time and invest in other questions which are basically puzzle based question where we need more time so let's see the next one what is the exact mirror image of the above number? Okay, mirror image, let us have a mirror here. So, it should go like this. And so, it is matching with, the, it is matching with D. So, mirror image is always on the right hand side, not below. Below is always the water image water image will be formed in the south and mirror image will be formed here in the what we call east so the mirror image of 3 7 would be something like this which is an option d will mark on d one more example from mirror image and you know the drill please try to make this image to the right of the given one and let's see what we can draw obviously we'll have a box so then we have this uh, percentage sign moving like this which is there in b and c a and b d out then at the rate the sign since it is like this mirror image would be exactly not the same this one so we can eliminate b and we boil down to c only no need to check it further so from the given option option c is the perfect mirror image okay what will be the next figure in the following series we can see we have a circle then four sided figure then one two three four five sided figure that means in that way they should be going for a six sided figure which is option a and option c we can emulate b and d now one two three four five lines inside then four line inside then three line inside here we should have two lines inside but we can see that lines are getting eliminated from the top so two lines should be air at the end which is in option c mark on option c and move on find the odd one out in the given image below again a classification question and the last one is on the screen let's try here we can see that we have got three lines to make this figure one two three four lines e is one two three four for a square we also need four lines so as far as these lines classification is concerned i'll mark on a because it is a three lined figure hope you have get, got the knowledge about what kind of different questions would be asked if you are writing dxc technology examination and on campus drive of dxc is on in south indian engineering college and the examination will be on 24th of july 2022 so do well practice these kind of question and i'll see you soon this is mohit jain signing off from mj's maths and stats that's mj magic studio to you on this hope that i'll see you soon stay well and study hard